Yeah, you probably need to give yourself lots of breaks when you're doing this otherwise you just get a little bit overwhelmed and we'll go back into it now let's do some of those and I think I'll do the outside so that we can see where we're going with that some of it's got a little bit lost Notice that that's sort of lovely and flowing actually. And before that ink dries, let's just get some clear water. really developing. Right, I'll stay away from that for the moment whilst that's drying and try not to get covered in ink. We're coming down here. And that's the beginning of her leg. I think we need to put this arm in too. So that's sort of there. And there's crinkles. if I can make out where her hand is. Now this is where the masking tape should come in handy. That's her fingers. And pull that out quickly with some water. That's a dark shape in there. flower in that a run that would be quite nice that gives us a line there so we can see what we're doing if I've done it a bit short. Right, that's the last flower, but that doesn't matter. We can bring that down a bit. That's better. She's very elegant. Leaf. 
even though I'm making these up a little bit. We just make them fit. I do quite like ivy leaves. I think they're really pretty. The daisy things. That's probably one of the difficult bits to do. Now we can go back in and put a few marks. I will carry on with this dress. So whilst I can see it, let's just pull that out and folds in the fabric. No, this is a statue and this looks amazing. It's quite dark so that one can be pulled out. that leg. And then we have the other leg that's sort of showing through the clothes which is rather nice. So that's that. And that comes in and out. Let's just get some clear water. Darken that a bit more. If it's too dark, just dab some out and add some more water. I've had to draw in this foot, this fabric, because we couldn't actually see it, so it sort of goes like that. And that's got a dark shadow in the cloth behind, so that can all be pulled out there. Imagine carving this. It's quite dark down there too. concentration but it's worth it. And let's just give her a bit of a shadow because she's not a flying fairy before I forget. And we've got the arm to finish this and hopefully this other bit is dry. I think I will put in just a little bit of that shape. And Thank <laughs> you. 
I'm not going to put in every single one of these, I don't think, because they're a little bit lighter than the other side. Just the feel of the shape. Let's put some ink and some clear water again. Okay, let's get the ink nice and dry. Ah, oh, one more thing. I think she needs to have just a little bit of eye showing. So one eye would be here. I don't want to go into detail. A little bit of the hairline, maybe. Oh, I don't think she needs any more facial details. She just darkened around that hairline. Okay, we'll just leave that to dry now. I don't know if any of you have seen this Winter and Newton iridescent medium. Um, I had it for quite a long time before I could think of a use, but it's really brilliant for mixed media work. So what I'm going to do is shake it quite well and empty some of it into, if I can get into it. We're empty some of that into that dish and then with my brush, just sit that there for the moment, make sure that it's clean. I'm going to soften some of those black areas to start with with this. It will make our fairy very sparkly when she catches the light. Put some in her hair and on her face too. Just wash that off and start again. It's just picking up some of the dye, so just clean your brush every so often. Put a sparkle down here. to take that over the edges a little bit and just add it to it and here and let's just soften that a little bit as well right that's coming on really nicely now what I'm going to do is a little bit of splattering with a toothbrush so dip your toothbrush into that, lots of it. I'm going to stand up so I can get a good aim and then just put these random 
the marks on top. Well, that does take a little while to dry. This is also good if you need to darken something, the background, because it lightens it quite a lot if you've gone too dark. Okay, so I think that will do. You can see, absolutely covered. Very sparkly now varnish now. So just wipe that off. And then I'm going to use some of these sprinklets. So I'm going to spray a little bit of water. And we'll just add a few at a time. And these are very sparkly. I just love all this glitter. They're very sparkly. Spray a bit more. And let's put some up here. And just spray that. So that's just from Colourcraft and their Brusho Sprinklets Iridescent Violet. So I hope you've enjoyed doing that and um, see you next time. Mm -hmm.